Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, September 29th, 2010. I'm Jill Eckhart with your Ernerberry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's new 6th edition Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting a work stoppage by the International Longshoremen's Association at ports in New Jersey and New York has entered its second day despite a judge's orders of sending them back to work. The action by ILA members is related to a protest over the move of some work done by ILA workers in Camden, New Jersey to a non-ILA facility in Gloucester. For more information on this story and other news from the center of the plate, make sure you head to foodmarket.com. Now, let's set the tone. In the egg market, retail demand is mixed. When completed, wholesale transactions generally exhibit premiums to existing quotations, and the market is likely higher here. Supplies are adequate, extra large is wanted, the market is steady too, at times, full steady. Now taking an inside look at Ernerberry's turkey letter, here's market reporter James Serpico. Uh, the turkey market overall remains very well positioned. Supplies on the street are simply not available for the most active lines and a firm short market results. Uh, the revised slaughter figures show the total live weight and total head slaughter are about 2.5% and 3.4% below the same period in 2009, respectively. These numbers are slightly advanced from the previous month. Um, our cold storage estimate shows a decrease of about 15 million pounds of meat. Um, this is right on point with the movement uh, we saw from last year. Our chart this week focuses on the dramatic reductions in freezer inventories. As compared to last year, whole birds are down a solid 22% uh, when coupled with continued production restraint and good demand patterns, prices have responded and are right now at record levels. Uh, legs are even more dramatic, being 34, 37% uh, behind last year's values. Um, these factors can do nothing but improve pricing moving forward uh, for most of the turkey items. Um, that is our turkey letter uh, at a quick glance. Please uh, review this report in its entirety on Comtel um, or on foodmarket.com. Thank you, and back to you, Jill. Thank you, James. In the chicken market, market activity remains basic at best, with offerings at least adequate for most listed lines. White meat lines are attempting to find a bottom, but at the moment, items such as boneless and tenders and other related items are discounted with regularity to our current quotations. Wogs and whole birds are about steady at best. Dark meat is in fair shape and can be rated about steady. Wings are in balance overall. Now, with a seafood market update, here's John Sackton from SeafoodNews.com. Uh, in our video today, we want to highlight uh, a devastating testimony from um, Abe Schoenwater yesterday at the House Judiciary Committee on what overzealous prosecution of the Lacey Act uh, can do to people in the seafood industry. Uh, Abe ran Horizon Seafoods and he got caught up in the case against Dave McNabb uh, for importing um, uh, Honduran lobsters which nymphs claimed were undersized and which the Honduran authorities denied were illegal. The upshot was that both McNabb and Schoenwater served uh, significant prison time uh, and in Schoenwater's case it was for something he was very peripherally involved in. Uh, he gave testimony yesterday on Capitol Hill about overcriminalization of Lacey Act prosecutions, and we print it today. It's testimony that should be read by every seafood dealer. Uh, we've seen what happened in New England fisheries with uh, enforcement kind of uh, running rampant and, and abuse, getting abusive in terms of um, enforcing fishing regulations. Uh, I, in fact, was slow to pick up on how serious an issue this was uh, because uh, there was some violations there even though many of the uh, prosecutions were for inadvertent violations. Um, I don't want to repeat that same mistake uh, with the increased uptick of enforcement activity we're seeing over Lacey Act and seafood fraud. Uh, in some cases people are getting caught up in prosecutions that should never have happened. Uh, we have to excuse me, guard against an attitude on the part of processors that all seafood importers are guilty until proven innocent. Uh, this is not true. About 95 percent of what's going on uh, uh, in terms of um, mislabeling and so forth is possibly inadvertent or an oversight or poor business practice. 
Uh, it's only the 5 percent that is deliberate attempts to evade custom duties or deliberate attempts to constitute fraud that should be prosecuted. But this is not the attitude that we're seeing in the enforcement community and it's something that uh, we in the seafood industry need to uh, flag right away. Uh, in fact, in our editorial, we're urging that people send their members of Congress uh, copies of uh, testimony from Abe Schoenwater because it is a huge illustration of a potential problem uh, facing many more people in the industry. And as Abe says, he hopes that what happened to him will never happen to anybody else in the United States. Uh, in Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton. Thanks, John. Moving over to red meats in the boxed beef market, and cuts are generally stable and are supportive to the cutout. Middle meats see a lesser amount of buying interest, and packers work to address inventory issues where they exist. Live cattle markets have yet to trade for the week. Trading activity throughout the boneless beef market has been generally light to this point this morning. Fresh 50s are rated mostly steady. Moderate trade on frozen 50s has already developed at a steady to slightly lower price level. Leaner trimmings are still rated about steady. Today, imported beef value trading values are unchanged thus far this morning. Offerings of fresh product are called fully adequate. While imported lean manufacturing beef is fairly limited in supply, the spot offerings are still enough to meet the call. The undertone of the market is about steady. Looking at pork, with most packers holding sufficient hog supplies for the week and wholesale pork prices working lower, bids for cash hogs could drop today. Both direct market hogs and terminal market hogs are rated steady to weaker. Hams appear to be a bit mixed as of this morning as medium and small hams are scarce, while heavy hams are more readily supplied. Bellies are under pressure. Fresh pork sales have yet to develop as expected this week. Availability of loins, butts, and spare ribs varies widely by seller, though generally offered very near previously listed levels. That is your Ernerberry Mid-Morning Tone on Comtel, brought to you by NAMP's all-new 6th edition Meat Buyer's Guide.